Hey guys, Brandy Von Holton. I am here with Leroy Van Dyke. He doesn't really need an introduction. So don't uh, give me one. Okay. <laughs> it's just this guy right here. We're going to play checkers in a second. But, uh, or connect four. <laughs> um, he goes into, he goes on the stage at six o'clock tonight. The rain has stopped and we are on like Donkey Kong for our first ever concert here with Leroy Van Dyke. Uh, Leroy, how long has your family been in this area? Uh, since 1812. No, I don't know. Since 1812. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, we grew up in uh, in Pettis County. Mm -hmm. And I was born in a farmhouse, not in a hospital. That direction, just about exactly two miles. Two miles from here. And our place almost joins your place. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly. I know your deer come over here all the time. Well, what happens is <laughs> the deer come over to Ulrich's and here and eat up the crops and then they hide in our place. Oh, okay. That's yep. where that works. That's where they like, they steal all the goods and they go hide out, That's right? right? Yes. Okay. Like Jesse James. <laughs> but, but anyway, my dad, uh, I was born on that farm that I mentioned. And then uh, when I was six months old, I didn't like it, so I moved. Mm -hmm. Oh, when you were six months old? Yeah. Oh, okay. So over. <laughs> Over a little closer to Sedega. Uh, we were about 12, about 12 miles out of Sedega over there and we moved to a farm that was about five or six miles from today. Lived there like about nine and then moved back out here when we bought this property that was known as the Pawnee Ranch. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and when we decided to get away from the big city and get back to reality, uh, we, we liked this part of it. Farm pretty well back in the woods. That's where I spent a lot of time when I was a kid. And so that, so we live right over there. Yeah. Just a little ways from where I was born. Okay. Um, who all is here with your family? I've seen a lot of them come in. I've well, met a lot. My uh, family members, uh, they don't get to see them much. We don't get to see them much, but they're all busy. We, right. We work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're working. How many how many concerts a year do you do? Oh, but not too many now. About fifty. About 50? But there was, time, there was a time I was on the road 315 days a year. Yeah. Back uh, a few years ago. Okay. But my my sisters and brothers show up. I got one sister that was in real estate and she's retired. I have a brother that's electrical, electrical engineer. Mm -hmm. He's retired and I came back and my younger brother's a doctor. He's not retired. But those, those three will that's all That's Elmer. Elmer, yes. Elmer, yeah. Um, we had, I had a younger sister, she passed away a few years ago. The youngest one passed away first. Yeah, that's what uh, William was telling me yesterday, that the youngest passed away first, so. Yeah. Uh, sounds like the Van Dykes were some, like, uh, y'all must have had some good parents because all of y'all have work ethic through the yeah. roof and yeah. you've all been highly successful. Mm -hmm. I mean, but it's because you work. It's yeah. because we work, yeah. Yeah. And we, we were taught to not they didn't just point at us and say you get to work they didn't have to right but we, we learned to work by example mm -hmm. and I, I might have mentioned this to you i was driving cars on public roads in pettis county with no one in the car with me when i was nine years old right I, i've driven a few miles yeah and then by the time i was 12 i was driving semis uh, from one farm to another and hauling hay and cattle and stuff like that and then as soon as I was old enough to get a chauffeur class, and I was driving trucks on the road, all the furniture and cattle and freight and yep. whatever, whatever else. All on butt? Yes. <laughs> you were but, going but, everywhere. But it wasn't just me. My brother did the same thing. Yeah. We all do different things for a living or did before one of them retired. But we all grew up the same way, driving those trucks mm -hmm. on, on the farm and over the road. Well, I had the pleasure of getting a ride with your daughter the other day. She yes. hadn't rode a horse in forever, and she was still great. She yeah. said that uh, with her being uh, smaller, that y'all would be like, oh, we got to break this horse, and y'all would like, put her up on there. She mm -hmm. said that she's rode a lot of horses in the yeah, past. We, we had a lot of horses. Yeah? Okay. Bunch of mules. You used to yeah. race jumping mules? Well, not necessarily. Just, whatever they want to do. Oh, whatever. Okay. But whatever we ask them to do, they do. Yeah. Um, and then how, how long have y'all been out of the mules? Well, we just quit raising mules about two years ago. Oh, two years uh, ago? Uh, we're, we're too busy. We're yeah. on the road. And my wife runs our business. She manages everything. And 
plans everything, mm -hmm. takes all the planning and detail and paperwork off my back. Yeah, yeah Gladys is a boss mayor by far. Well, she knows she, what she's doing. She does a great job. She knows, she knows what she's doing. Mm -hmm. she, knows. she doesn't make any mistakes. No. Well, she, when she was in high school, she worked for a bank. And at the end of the day, you'd have to settle down and have it down to the penny. Mm -hmm. so you've got to balance out. Right. Well, then when she got out of high school, she went to work for the, for the government, the county or state or something. Then she became a legal secretary in Kansas City. Then she became a legal secretary for a chemical patent firm. Now Sounds that, like she could never make a mistake. That, that gets complicated. <laughs> right. Every number, every letter, oh. every is. She doesn't make mistakes. No. And then she saw some lady come into the the office one day with some kind of a little machine and she said, what is that? It's a stenograph machine. Well, what does she do? She's a court reporter. She said, I gotta learn how to do that. So she enrolled in a business school up there but at night while she was working as a legal secretary, learned to be a court reporter. She could take the patient of 300 words a minute. 300 words a minute. So and she's she can, listening. And she can type it, type okay. it out with 126 words a minute. Wow. She doesn't make any mistake. Okay. So that's what I'm getting at. She's had a uh, very and thorough she, life. And she, and she was taking grand jury hearings with the mafia and all that stuff. She, so she had to be cleared for top secret. Right. And uh, so she, she's a pretty amazing woman. Gladys is great. Yeah. yeah. Well, on um, today, whenever you take the stage, who all is going to be on the stage with you? Well, I carry a seven piece band. Seven piece band. Uh, my, what? My a piano player, I carry two piano players. One comes from Kansas and now lives uh, Brian, Brian's the most of the time. And they you know, have a female you know, piano player that works with me and she's from Texas. Okay. Now lives in Nashville. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kelly Jones is part time at the post office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's our postman in Colby, huh? Yes. And he's one of the world's finest fiddle players. Mm -hmm. Uh, a bass player lives at Iowa, Missouri, over on 65 Highway. He's been with me for many years. My steel player is kind of new, but he's only been with me for 25 years. Only 25? 25. Oh, okay. He's your newest and member? He, <laughs> and he, he, he came from Sedalia, and he oh. went to the same high school I did, but a generation before me. Okay. Now they, and he retired from. Uh, uh, University of Central Missouri, Warrensburg, where mm -hmm. he was a professor of English. Wow. Now, who am I missing? The drummers from Kansas City, Paul Oney, uh, uh, Tony Schaefer, who's a steel man. A lot of people don't know who he is. Who am I missing? And I think I, you're missing one well, big one. You better not forget. I'm going down the list. It's the accordion, piano, piano, steel, uh, bass, fiddle, drum. Okay. The last one is my youngest son, his name is Ben. Yeah. And he plays guitar, he also plays bass, and, but he just plays guitar on our okay. And then Ben's got a new upcoming business in Sedalia? Yes. He, not only is he one of the best guitar players I ever had, but he's also a uh, gunsmith. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, his specialty is building long range precision rifles. Long range precision. Yeah. Here we go with your family again, like being these super succeeders, you know what I mean? And then the precision from his mother, so it like it makes perfect sense. And then a little bit of country because being out here for forever. It's like he has uh, found something that combines all of your what y'all pass on to him. My, my parents never did tell us what to do as far as they, they, they made sure that we had a good education. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad wanted to go to college, but couldn't because his dad was. And he had to stay home and make a living for the family when he was 13 years old. But he said that if he ever raised the family, he wanted to make sure that they could go to college if they wanted to. Right. So my older sister became, a, she went to Warrensburg and became an elementary one room school teacher. Mm -hmm. She did that for a while before she got married, and then she was in real estate uh, the rest of her career. And she retired now, she's 94. Mm -hmm. Is well, that Mary Francis? Yes. And my older brother became an electrical engineer. See, different different careers. That's 
Williams. And Mel, we, we go by his middle name. Oh, I knew it wasn't Elmer because I, no, I his, thought he was his Elmer. His name is Elmer. His Elmer. His middle name, we always call him Elmer. Oh. They would see his name on a deal in school and they looked at William, okay, Bill. And so oh. they renamed him Bill. All the people oh. in the, at school, so he, he was known to people that didn't know him as Bill. And Elmer's a gynecologist, he's right? Gynecologist. Yeah, he's delivered probably a, most of everybody in this county, probably right? Probably 30,000 babies. Probably 30,000 babies. And he still practice. Yeah. Well, and then my major in college was animal science and journalism. Mm -hmm. And then Elmer came along and he was in medicine. He was a doctor. My younger sister had a master's degree in music and uh, a degree in humanities and another degree in a graduate nurse. So she had three careers wow. at the same time. Well, um, I don't know if you know how much it means to my husband and I that you're here. You know, you are, uh, man, whenever you came out here and you said that you were proud of David for what he had done with I this I am farm. proud of him. Oh. Anybody that sees what, what you all have done here can't, can't help but be impressed with how hard you work. Yeah. Nothing happens if you don't work. Right. So, yeah, we're working ourselves to death is what it feels like right now, but that's okay, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, Anyways, well, you, um, your opening act is at 5.30. It's actually one of my old, I used to be a school teacher, mm -hmm. and it's one of my students named Matthew Cozart, and I don't know if he's going to be able to talk whenever he's around me <laughs> because he's so excited about meeting you. And, uh, Don't get over it. Oh, okay, I'll talk. <laughs> just get over it, Matthew. It's, get just, over it. it's just Leroy and his, like, amazing family. <laughs> All right, well. If you'd like to come to this concert, we still have openings. Uh, the person video videoing for me is Allie, so thank you, Allie, for doing that. And we hope to see you soon. Come on out to Von Holton Ranch, and we're doing something really cool with Leroy Van Dyke.